21 Reasons to Eat Real Food If you've been trying to lose weight or just live a healthier lifestyle in general, you've probably heard people use the phrase, real food, from time to time. Heck, you may have even heard it for the first time from one of those other videos on our channel if you're a bestie regular. But what exactly is real food? And what sets it apart from food that isn't considered real? Well, to put it simply, real food refers to whole foods that consist of a single ingredient and are not subjected to processing or artificial additives of any kind. While processed foods can often be more convenient, this benefit is strongly outweighed by the number of nutritional strengths that come from eating whole, real foods. Nutrition expert and professional dietitian Francisca Spritzler has compiled a list of 21 reasons why you should choose to eat real food instead of processed food. And we here at Bestie would like to now pass her information and knowledge on to you. Before we start, we could think of at least 21 reasons why you should be subscribed to Bestie, and all of them involve staying up to date with our daily videos and newest content. Be sure to ring the notification bell while you're at it. Now, with that out of the way, let's run through Spritzler's list of 21 reasons why you should consider eating real foods. Number one, real foods are full of nutrients. Unprocessed foods tend to contain higher amounts of vitamins and minerals, making them much more beneficial to your daily nutritional needs. One example listed by Spritzler is vitamin C. One cup of either red bell peppers, broccoli, or sliced oranges will provide you with 100% of your recommended daily intake for vitamin C. Another important nutrient mentioned is choline, which is important for proper brain function and can be found in animal-based foods such as eggs and liver. As for selenium, all you need to do to meet your daily requirements for that is to munch on a single Brazil nut. As you can see from these examples, Whole and unprocessed foods can be an untapped gold mine when it comes to important vitamins and minerals that can impact your body's health. Number two, real food is low in sugar. In addition to being high in vitamins and minerals, whole foods are also lower in sugar than unprocessed foods. Eating too many sugary foods can lead to a number of different health-related problems, such as obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. For more info on that, you can check out one of our other videos, Eight Warning Signs That You Are Eating Too Much Sugar. Even for foods which naturally contain sugar such as fruit, the amount of sugar present in them is offset by a larger amount of water and fiber, which still makes it healthier than most processed foods. Number three, real food is good for your heart. Many types of whole and unprocessed foods are rich in antioxidants and other nutrients such as magnesium and healthy fats. Unprocessed foods are also believed to help reduce inflammation, which can help combat against the risk of heart disease. Number 4. Real food is environmentally friendly. Or at the very least, more so than processed foods. Sustainable agriculture techniques based on growing real and unprocessed foods may help improve the planet's overall health by reducing energy needs and decreasing the amount of non-biodegradable waste that is created by humans. I guess you could call this food for thought. Number five, real food is high in fiber. Fiber is an important staple of any healthy diet as it helps with our digestion and metabolism and also helps us feel full to prevent us from overeating. While you can get additional fiber through supplements or through processed foods that have fiber added to them, unprocessed whole foods such as chia seeds, blackberries, legumes, avocados, and flax seeds are still the best source of fiber available. Number six, real food helps control blood sugar. A healthy diet that incorporates fibrous plants and unprocessed animal foods can help keep your blood sugar at manageable levels, especially for people who either have or may be at the risk of developing diabetes. Studies have indicated that people who subscribe to the Paleolithic diet may see a reduction in blood sugar levels as big as 26%. Number seven, real food is good for your skin. 
Unprocessed foods such as avocados and dark chocolate have been shown to help strengthen your skin and protect it against sun damage. In addition to that, studies have also suggested that a diet that's rich in vegetables, fish, legumes, and olive oil can help prevent your skin from wrinkling or losing its elasticity as you get older. Finally, weaning yourself off unprocessed foods is also likely to help reduce the chances of getting acne. No airbrushing required. Number 8. Real Food Lowers Triglycerides Triglycerides are a type of fat found in your blood that are strongly influenced by your food intake. By eating whole and unprocessed foods such as fish, meats, vegetables, and nuts, you can help manage your body's triglycerides and keep them at healthier levels. Number 9. Real Food Equals Variety Beyond all of the health benefits that real food provides, it also helps shake things up if your meal plan is feeling monotonous. Eating the same things every day can get boring. Why not add a little variety to spice things up? By making a commitment to trying new foods, you can expand your culinary horizons and maybe even discover some new favorites while you're at it. Number 10. Real food is less expensive. Well, at the very least, it's less expensive in the long run. While real foods can be slightly pricier than processed foods, the expense is small enough to be negligible compared to the expenses that can come from living with debilitating health problems, such as obesity. By eating healthy and staying in better shape, you can minimize expenses such as medical supplies and health care that you would need if you were in a worse state of health. Number 11. Real food is high in healthy fats. Processed foods tend to contain trans fats, such as the ones found in vegetable oils or spreads, and are mostly unhealthy. By contrast, naturally occurring fats found in whole foods can provide a number of health benefits, including assisting with heart health and weight loss. Some good sources of healthy fats can be found in olive oil, coconut oil, fish, avocados, nuts, seeds, and whole milk. Number 12. Real foods may reduce disease. Certain diets and meal plans that rely on whole and unprocessed foods have been found to potentially reduce your risk of contracting certain diseases. For example, the Mediterranean diet has been found to reduce the risk of heart disease, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. And a diet that's abundant in fruits and vegetables has been said to help reduce the risk of cancer. Number 13. Real foods contain antioxidants. Antioxidants are important to your body as they fight against free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can damage the cells in your body. All real foods contain antioxidants, but they can be most abundantly found in plant-based foods, fruits, vegetables, nuts, whole grains, and legumes. While animal products also contain antioxidants, they usually contain less than plants. Number 14. Real food helps your gut. Inside your gut is a colony of bacteria which live inside your digestive tract, known as your microbiome. Real and unprocessed food functions as a prebiotic. When digested, your gut bacteria can ferment it into short-chain fatty acids. That'll keep your gut healthy and improve your blood sugar control. Some good prebiotic sources include garlic, asparagus, and cocoa. Number 15. Real food can prevent overeating. Because real food doesn't contain the same added sugar and artificial flavors that are commonly found in processed foods, they may, in fact, reduce the odds of overeating and keep people from becoming overweight as a result. Say goodbye to those empty calories. Number 16. Real food helps dental health. Less sugar and refined carbs in unprocessed foods means that your teeth and overall oral hygiene will stay healthier for longer. In particular, cheese appears to prevent cavities by increasing pH and hardening your tooth enamel. And green tea can reduce the amount of erosion that your teeth can be damaged by over time. Now that's something to smile about. Number 17. Real food can reduce sugar cravings. 
or at the very least, it might be linked to reduced sugar cravings in some way. A diet based on real foods might help you curb your sweet tooth by reducing your desire for processed desserts that are loaded with added sugar. This is because your taste buds adapt to what you eat. So make sure you're setting good habits to kick those cravings to the curb. Number 18. Real food sets a good example. Have you ever heard the phrase lead by example? By taking strides towards a healthier lifestyle, you might also encourage your loved ones to follow suit and make healthier choices as well. This is especially true for parents who want their kids to eat healthier. Better to lead by example than to say do as I say, not as I do. Number 19. Real food takes the focus off dieting. When you're in the mindset of dieting, chances are you're only focused on losing weight and not much else. Rather than simply counting calories, a healthy meal plan should be all about making sure your body gets the essential nutrients it needs to stay functional and efficient. Number 20. Real food supports local farmers. Unprocessed foods such as produce, meat, and dairy can often be found at local farmers markets and similar places. And buying from these places helps support the people in your community responsible for growing food. By buying food locally, you are also guaranteed to be purchasing fresher foods than ones found in the grocery store and supermarkets. Number 21. Real food tastes good. Okay, obviously this one is a little more subjective, but most people, Spritzler included, would argue that real food tastes delicious. Just because something is healthy doesn't mean it can't also taste good. What did you think of these facts related to unprocessed foods? Are there any other tips or benefits that you think we missed? Maybe you even have some recipes you'd like to share. If so, leave us a comment in the section below to help us keep the conversation going. And of course, we encourage you to share this video with anyone who might find it interesting. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.